Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Yesterday was my birthday and I turned 50 so I want to do something a little different today. Normally I make a birthday cake for my birthday but this year I am going to celebrate myself with making a gift for me. So let's go to the table and do that. So for the gift I am using some old cardboard here to cut out a piece that I think is big enough or small enough for the gift. I am going to cut out I think two or three of these and then I am gluing them together and waiting for the glue to dry before I continue with these. This is the inside of the gift and I'm doing this to avoid using all my clay on this. You could also take a block of some scrap clay if you have that and use that instead. I'm using my tacky glue to glue these parts together. Then I rolled some scrap clay out in a setting 6 or 7 I think and I'm going to wrap my little gift here in this um, and I'm cutting it out so that it is um, just fitting around one way and I'm using some bacon bond to make that uh, happen and I'm not overlaying while I am putting this together I am sorry I don't have the entire video here because I was kind of out of frame when I wrap the gift one way around I am using bacon bond on the ends of the gift and I'm doing that right here um, outside of the camera I'm sorry about that placing the ends and then cutting out the clay so that fits around the gift and I am going to soften the connection everywhere so that it is one solid box that I have here before I do anything else and I'm really taking my time smoothing out the connection to make sure everything will stay in place while I'm baking it as I used cardboard in the middle here, I am going to poke some holes into the polymer clay before I bake it so air can escape. If I don't do this, this um, polymer clay will uh, kind of bubble up in uh, the oven. So make sure you have some holes in there. I made two different sizes, but you can make different shapes as well. I rolled out some uh, bluish polymer clay on a setting seven, six or seven, and I'm using this flower cutter to cut out some flowers of this clay. And I'm removing the flowers here. I don't need those, so I'm putting them to the. S then I am placing the clay back on my uh, work surface here. I have a piece of a glass that I'm using. And I rolled out a piece of opaque white in the same setting as the blue and I'm just cutting out the flowers here that we need for the holes and I'm just dumping them into the holes where they belong. I have this cutter that is shaped like a teardrop and is perfect for leaves. So I'm just cutting out a few pieces here and there of the blue again uh, near the flowers. And I'm using the same little cutter in the green. I rolled out in the same setting as everything else. And I'm placing the green leaves in the holes where I cut out the blue leaves. Then I have this teal colored clay that I want to use for uh, flowers, some more flowers. And I have this other little flower cutter and I'm just cutting out a few of these flowers and I'm placing them on top of the white flowers and actually a little here and there around on the blue flowers. So just place it like you want to. You can decorate a piece of clay like this in different ways. Uh, you could make some lines or some circles, whatever you really feel for. But just uh, decorate just like you feel like. Now to make it into one sheet of polymer clay, I am using a tool to kind of 
roll it all together really really carefully this will also put the teal blue into the clay and not bumpy then i am going to loosen up this plate of clay or this flat sheet of clay and i'm turning it upside down because we have the pretty side on the other side i'm using some bacon bond uh, to um, smear around the little box that we made this way the clay will um, adhere to the box that is uh, pre-baked now i wrap the box so i am just making sure it is nice and even here actually i cut off a tiny piece in this end and i'm going to do the same here do not make the clay overlay because this way it is going to be too thick and don't um rip it off like i did here that's uh just making everything even worse then i am smoothing out the connection as good as possible Now I am going to wrap the ends here, so I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting down at the edges here so that I can fold in this little piece right here, um, fold that in and now I'm off camera again and I'm doing the same on the other end here or the other side of the end, cutting down and then folding it in on itself and i'm not showing you cutting the bottom layer here in an angle from the corner and out and then i'm just cutting off the excess and bending that in over and again i'm out of uh, focus i am so sorry about that and i'm gonna do the same here so cutting the ends nice and uh, in an angle and then just folding it in over itself and I'm softening it, but not too much because I don't want it to kind of disappear. And I'm doing the same in the other end. And again, I'm out of frame. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's my new camera set up and I'm just still learning how to do this. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm folding the two small ends in. Then I'm kind of making a point of uh, the side pieces and folding those in as well. Uh, again smoothening it but not too much because I want to see that it is kind of folded together and um, that is actually it for the little uh, box here or the packaging and I am doing a tiny hole in the middle on one side again to let the air uh, come out I wrapped the small gift in the same way and I'm using some pearl eggs to make the gifts here a tiny, teeny tiny bit more uh, shiny because um, why not? I wanted to make some ribbon for around the gifts so I rolled out some um, opaque white in a setting 3 I think and some teal in a setting 7 so that is thinner than the white and I'm placing the teal on each side of the white and you might want to um, roll out some more clay than I did here I just wanted to show you how to do it and only have enough for the gifts that I had here so I thought I could use less clay um, somehow that was kind of stupid but I think you get the idea what you didn't see me do was flattening out this clay a tiny bit more to um, avoid air bubbles and making sure that everything was connected really good I kind of flatten it a tiny bit more I am using some silver pearl eggs here to make it shiny on both sides. Then I am going to cut a very thin slice of this and there you have your ribbon. I am using a tiny bit of bacon bond to make sure that it will stay on my baked um, gift here. So I am just lining that up where I want this little ribbon making sure that the end piece is nice and uh, sharp 
So I'm just placing that into the bacon bond and wrapping it around my gift all the way around, making sure that I have a tiny bit of bacon bond to make sure that it is sitting right. And again, I'm off camera. I'm really sorry about this. Um, all the way around here and making sure that it ends together with the first part and that it is not overlaying at all. I did the same thing on the other gift and now I am cutting yet another strip of the cane so that I can wrap that the other way around the little gift here and again I'm using bacon bond to make sure that this ribbon will actually uh, grip to the baked clay. Again I'm so sorry that I'm so much off camera I will try to do better. Um, yeah I will. I decided to cut the ribbon here so that it is going from one side of the ribbon to the other side of the ribbon and then I'm doing the same on the other half of the gift and I'm also doing that on the little one. The bow is fairly simple. I am again taking a slice of my cane here and I'm just making a different length of this little cane here placing some bacon bond where I want my bow and now I am taking these strips here and I'm bending them around and making sure that they are kind of pointing together at the uh, ends and then I'm just placing that on top of the gift so bending it around my tool and then placing it on the gift just doing a few here before I uh, place them and you can place as many or as little as you want for the bow but the more you make the more full the bow will be and the more pretty it will be. For the two ends of the ribbon, I am just taking a tiny bit of the cane, cutting it in an angle and then placing it so that it looks like the ends of the ribbon. It can be a t tiny bit tricky. Um, and remember to use a little bacon bond so that it will actually stick uh, at the end. And I am going to uh, continue with the bows here on both gifts. Um, outside from the camera. I'm using a tiny piece of scrap clay for making a gift card so I'm just cutting it out in the shape I want it to be, uh, decorating it a tiny bit with a dotting tool and then placing it on the gift again using a tiny bit of bacon bond. I'm using my Microperm 01 for writing on the little gift tags that I placed on both my gifts here. Uh, this is a permanent marker and that is all there is for the video today. I'm sorry about the many times I was off camera but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching and happy crafting. Subscribe.